So I'm actually going to attempt doing the Flutter main solo on the new 7-star Charizard raid. I built, uh, I'm actually Violet, but I do have one that I traded for on that public trade code that was publicized by Austin John Plays. And as you can see here, I have Covert Cloak. I have Minted, so it does have max special attack. I invested in vitamins to get max special attack and HP, and the remainder in special defense, which, which would be only four. Just realized I need to actually change this move. We actually need Moonblast, not Dazzling Glim. There we go. Calm Mind, Drain and Kiss, and Fake Tears are all TMs that you can craft or you know, initially find them on the map or whatever. But yeah, we're going to try this out and see if we can Soul of the Charizard. Let's challenge alone. We didn't need to hyper train in attack or speed. It doesn't really matter. So I think we're going to start off this fight by using fake tears. From what I've seen, it looks like Charizard randomly targets with overheat on turn one, which will lower its special attack. And since the NPCs don't remove from the timer whenever they die, we'll see if we can just outlive this match. Right, so we get the overheat, it goes on Brooklyn here. So that's a pretty solid start. Okay, now I'm gonna go for fake tears right off the bat. This is the first time I'm even using Flutter Main. Okay, hit by a hurricane. That's the main reason why you want to move on Covert Cloak so you don't get the confusion. Now we're going to start setting up combines. What is with that weird shift? Did you see that? The reflection of Charizard looks bizarre. Alright, so we're going to keep setting up combines here. I'm gonna go for a drain plus this so I can heal up a bit. This is a nice chunk. But that's the main reason why you want drain, because it see, wow, we are fully healed now. And we should be able to tank this fire blast. Pretty solid so far. I'm gonna go for another combine. This might even be better than you'd think, you know, maybe, oh well, if you can beat it alone, why not just do this with people? The thing is, if you're with someone that doesn't know what they're doing and they die, it actually will cost you the match. But since these NPCs dying have no reflection on the timer at all, we can kind of just like worry about ourselves. And whatever they're doing is just kind of a bonus for us. See how I'm just kind of like setting up in its face? Now I'm gonna go heal up again with Drain Kiss. And it will chunk up a bunch, like wow. Just so wanna heal up and then I can go for a Moon Blast for more damage. We're at plus four, plus four. And yeah, you can kind of see that we're tanking these moves now with a special defense. Charizard will only be specially offensive in these raids. Okay, so he removed our stats, but I can just start sending a combine again. That's pretty much what you want to do. As you can see, we're still in a really good scenario. The timer is on our side. We just want to make sure we can tank these moves a little bit better. Yeah, see, as long as he doesn't get a crit, we should be solid. Going for... So now we're actually at plus two, plus two. Fire Blast, we, we avoid it even better. Right, I'm gonna keep setting up Common. Yeah, Fluttermane is pretty good in this scenario. And like I was saying, I don't, I'm actually Pokemon Violet. The way I got this Fluttermane, there was a video Austin John Plays put out. Oh my gosh, see, that's actually insane. 
Thankfully, we lived. Now we can go for a drain kiss. And I'm thinking we will get full health though. Or pretty close to it. Okay, about half. We'll just have to go for another drain kiss here. We should be able to tank this hurricane. Thankfully, it does miss, but the only reason why we got it down to the red was that had to be a crit. I missed it, but that had to be a crit. Alright, I'm gonna put another drain kiss just to heal up. Yeah, but uh, Austin John plays put out a video. Pretty much, if you were looking for a version of skill decision and you didn't have a friend to trade with, there's a universal code that people are using, and that's how I got this letter main. So yeah, pretty cool. All I had to do was mint it and give it some bottle caps. Alright, I'm gonna go for a moon blast. I want to see how much moon blast does here. Holy smokes! That's insane damage. Holy. I'm gonna get another combo. That's insane damage. Wow. Alright, let's see how much this fire blast does now. Yeah, barely anything. We're in a really good stand. And now the Charizard sets up Sunny Day, which will also set up our Protosynthesis, which is really good because we need the Covert Cloak so we do not get confused. And this is looking really good because now we get a special attack boost. Let's see how much of Moonblast that is. Wow, that's insane damage. No Terrastalizing needed. Unfortunately, my Flutter main is... Okay, I'm gonna go for drink this. It is the Ghost Terra, so I don't really want to Terra Terrastalize in a fight like this, and I'm I'm not gonna change the Terra type for this. You don't even need the Terra. That's kind of what I'm gonna show, is all you gotta do is just keep combining and going for Moonblast, going for Drain Kiss. It's pretty solid, right? This is my very first Charizard, by the way, so we are gonna catch it. And I think I might use one of my Apricot Balls to catch it catch this one. Since it does have the mightiest mark and perfect IVs, and it will in fact be a modest nature. I think at this point I can just go for Moonblast and it's over. Wow, pretty solid. This is a good way to grind these rigs. <laughs> no need to go online or worry about strategizing people. Alright, let's look at our ball options. Beast Ball, Dream Ball, Moon Ball, Heavy Ball, Bubble Ball, Blur Ball, Friend Ball. Friend Ball is kind of a cool one. Hmm. It's a tough decision, because I only have one of these. Beast Ball would be pretty cool, to be honest. I'm thinking, I, I, I kind of like the idea of Beast Ball, Moon Ball, or Lure Ball, or Friend Ball. I'm gonna use the Lure Ball. I think it's kind of interesting, like, finding a Charizard in a different region that it's not native to. And also having a very unique mark on it as well. So, I like the idea of the Lure Ball for that reason. It gives it a very... Kind of like OG aesthetic. Very cool. Alright, we got our Charizard. Holy smokes. 15 Dragon Terra shards? That's actually insane. Wow, 7 star raids are going to be very crucial to grinding Terra shards. Here it is. Lurball Charizard. Perfect IV. Caught in the lure ball, that's pretty cool. And it has solar power. Oh, this nature, wonderful. There we go. The mightiest mark. That's pretty sick. Alright, well there you go. You can solo Charizard relatively easily just with the Flutter main at level 100, so. Hope you enjoyed this. Definitely consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. And the Sasquatch King Strong each and every day. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you're tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one.